Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your August 2022 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember these readings won't be for everyone, so just take what resonates with you as always. We're looking at your overarching energy Cancer and then some general energies. Then we will look specifically at love, romance, relationships and money and career. Though I have to say some of the readings have been across the board, so if that's the case, we will just go with it. So let's see what we have for you. Overarching energy, please. Angel Spirits Guides for Cancer for August 2022. What do we have for our lovely Cancerians, please? Thank you. The Eight of Cups. The Moon. The Nine of Swords. The Four of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Five of Cups. So let's see what we have. What do we have in terms of love, romance, relationships for Cancer, please? message for cancer thank you love romance relationships thank you okay we have the devil the seven of wands the eight of pentacles And let's have a look at money career finances for you. We have the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups. Okay, Cancer, let's pull you an Angel Answer card. So, what do we have for our lovely Cancerians, please? Let's look at some angel and oracle cards for you. What do we have for Cancer? We have opportunity. It's interesting, bottom of the deck, I've got no. Let's have a look at love, romance, relationships for Cancer, thank you. What do we have for Cancer, thank you? We have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And we have you deserve love, you are lovable. Oh, I've also, when I look at the cards, I'm putting it down. So we have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay, what do we have for Cancer, please? Message for Cancer message for cancer in, the, in money career finances we have detox your friendships your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time so be discerning about your associations and relationships choose to be with people who are inspiring generous and supportive Okay, Cancer. So the message that I'm getting for you is, so the Eight of Cups, I mean, there's, you know, I say what comes to me. So the Eight of Cups can be about walking away, but generally walking towards something better. 
the moon energy can be to do with sometimes there's uncertainty and doubt, but we just have to surrender and trust. So it might well be for some of you, you're considering walking away and your intuition is strong in terms of telling you that, but the, the moon can be uncertainty, that can be a lack of clarity. So it might well be for some of you that you're uncertain about walking away, but you feel it's the right thing to do here because you're saying no to somebody or at least putting your foot down here. Now, interestingly enough, if we start in love romance relationships, the devil, because it is such a big major arcana, the devil can be about repeating negative cycles and choosing to break free of that because it's, it, there's uncertainty about it, but you just feel it's the right thing to do to walk away from this devil, to break some kind of negative repeating cycle because the devil is very attractive. It's very alluring. Uh, we want things about the devil, you know, it's temptation. There are things that are very tempting um, because it can be to do with codependency, feeling that we can't live without the other person in a relationship. It can be to do with addiction, Somebody's, somebody having an addiction problem. Uh, and it can be, you know, it can also be to do with uh, just repeating cycles of ne negative behavior in other areas. You know, the devil is the energy here of, of some kind of negative repeating cycle. And the feeling of you're being told there's an opportunity to say no. Interesting message that I'm getting here. Or spirit is telling you, no to something because there's an opportunity elsewhere certainly if it's money career finances so that is what i'm getting here cancer there's an opportunity to wake well walk away from some toxic unhealthy energy or behavioral pattern here so that's that's what i'm getting the most now interestingly enough the thread that's going with that if you're considering walking away and this person knows that you're considering walking away or knows that it's crunch time they haven't been wanting to do something but now they're prepared to work on it work on their behavior so this there's definitely a feeling here in terms of love romance relationships of somebody has been defensive, egotistically defensive. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no problem. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing what you're asking me to do. You know, it's all in your head. You know, I don't behave in this way. You're blowing things out of proportion. All that kind of energy is the devil energy. So somebody who is very defensive about protecting their own behavioral pattern here. But the Eight of Pentacles is suggesting somebody is prepared to work on it now. So for some of you, Because there may well be a no in this situation, and I feel this is coming from you here, Cancer. I feel that you're putting your foot down in a situation potentially in terms of love, romance, relationships. This feels somebody might be going and working on themselves. Uh, so this can sometimes be about, with the Eight of Cups, uh, going and getting help, getting the help that they need. Uh, somebody who's prepared to work on themselves, prepared to, I'll go and see this person or I'll go and stay at this place for a few weeks, you know, I'll, I'll go and do get the help that I need. This can be that kind of energy and sometimes you just have to surrender and trust. For some of you, that's kind of dropping in as well, that kind of thread. So that might be res resonant for you, whether it's um, love, romance, relationships, or it could be love of other kinds, could be children, could be family issues. It might well be the person who wasn't prepared to go and get help or acknowledge that they had a problem before is actually prepared to work on this to keep you, you know, or you're finding some kind of happy agreement here or happy medium here that, that restores some kind of equilibrium. So the two of cups can be the bond between two people card. Uh, there's real love, uh, connection, chemistry. And the Six of Cups is the energy of, of somebody who 
you have nostalgia with, memories with, uh, history with, so can be to do with family, can be to do with friendships, can be to do with love, romance, relationships. This is somebody who hasn't been prepared to work on themselves, they're going to. So, and this energy of, okay, don't know what's going to happen, but I just have to surrender and trust that it's all going to be fine. So for some of you, you might be coming to some kind of agreement here. For others of you, this is somebody who wants to reconcile after some kind of behavior, saying they they want to work through the situation or the issues that you faced. And you considering, do I walk away from this? Your intuition will be very strong. So however that knowing opportunity works for you in terms of love, romance, relationships, because this is definitely with the devil, a classic energy of I regret it. I wish I didn't do it. I, I, mourn, I mourn what I did. I regret what I did. And somebody reaching out, offering you something again. So can we make amends? Can we move past something? Can you forgive me? Can we get back on track? I won't do it again. But this is somebody who, the Four of Cups isn't somebody who's accepting somebody back open-armed. Uh, because the moon in Cancer, the Four of Cups. So there's a strong energy here, Cancer, of really going within to your quiet space and thinking about whether to accept somebody's offer or not. And that's what you're doing because there's a lot of overthinking going on, the Nine of Swords, uncertainty, because you don't know if they're going to do the thing that they say they're going to do. Uh, you don't know if they mean it. So I feel there is some kind of process here where you come to some kind of agreement potentially, if you go and do this, if you go and get help, if you go and address this issue, then yeah, we can work through this situation. Otherwise, there's a no. And that's really what I'm getting here because this is somebody who is really uncertain about the future. They don't know whether to accept somebody's offer again because a feeling of you're not sure whether you trust it. So the cup is being offered and it's all part of this devil energy of tempting you back into the fold, uh, the negative repeating cycle. So a feeling for some of you, Cancer, there's a couple of threads, either you're considering walking away and sometimes there is a feeling of I just have to surrender and trust this because there is a repeating negative cycle that you're kind of waking up to and you're wondering whether you want it anymore, this energy of deception. Again, this deceptive energy can be, do you trust it? Or are they truly going to work on the issues or work through the issues that they have to bring change? And I feel that will guide your decision in what this is all about. So let's have a look at, because there is something about detoxing here. So releasing the negativity in some way from this repeating negative cycle, either them addressing it or you walking away. So it feels like some kind of ultimatum or things come to a head and that is the way forward here. So for others of you, uh, so in, in money career finances, so the moon can be a card of, of with the Eight of Cups, walking away from something and going in search of something better. So for some of you, you could have walked away from something here and you could have just walked away and just surrendered and trusted that that was the right thing to do. It might well be you weren't happy with the environment that you were exposed to because there's a feeling here of having to defend yourself. You do another work, but having to firefight and defend yourself and be defensive all the time with this devil energy. It could be a person or a, uh, an unhealthy team environment of some kind. Uh, and this feeling of, of, you know, defending your work, defending what you do, not being happy in the environment that you're in. So a strong energy here, Cancer, of maybe you chose to walk away from this or you're uncertain of whether to walk away from it. Now, for some of you, and I would always recommend this, it feels in this energy, you're walking towards something better. So it might well be you have something has come in that allows you to walk away from whatever this devil energy is, because there is this, just this feeling of having to be defensive, this 
This can be down to people being jealous of the position that you have and undermining you. Uh, this can be, you know, your ideas and your what you bring to the party, having to justify it all the time because it's being questioned all the time and it takes away from your confidence, you know, that kind of energy. So there is this feeling of just having to defend yourself and be on guard and 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 be ready to fight for what you believe is right and true and stand up for yourself. And doing that all the time is hard work, it's draining. And that's why this is an energy of going in search of something better. And I feel, you know, that the Eight of Cups can be walking away, but it can also be about I'm um, going in search of something better. So not necessarily, it could well be for some of you, you're choosing to, because you're surrendering and trusting, you just feel it's the right thing to do. Now, for some of you, yeah, there is a feeling here of stress, anxiety, doubt from all this firefighting. But it does feel that there is some opportunity being presented, the cups energy, which is linked to your sign, the water sign. So the Knight of Cups can be some someone making you an offer, but it can be change that comes in that brings energetic change. So the Knight of Cups can be some kind of offer uh, very good in terms of creative opportunities or something that that brings energetic change for you a happy change for you with all this stress anxiety worry that come that you that you're dealing with at the moment so that's what i'm seeing here the knight of cups can be linked to also creative opportunities so the creative industries media entertainment arts culture expressive industries uh, publishing, writing, and so on and so forth. So for some of you, this could be literally to do with that too. And it might well be the answer that, that allows you to release from this stressed period of stress, anxiety, worry. There is a feeling here, Cancer, of for some of you, whatever this Four of Cups is, because the Four of Cups can be somebody reaching out, offering you something. For me, it can also be a divine nudge energy. So the Five of Cups and the Four of Cups, there's an interesting energy here because the devil is that negative repeating cycle. So it does feel like in the midst of all this stress, anxiety, worry, there is some kind of offer being presented to you that brings positive change for you. But there may well be a temptation here because this devil energy might well offer to keep you. And you're considering it because you're kind of, well, do I step, you know, do I accept somebody new? Do I move someone new? Especially if you've been there a while, you might well be thinking, do I accept some something new? Do I move in a new direction? Do I actually walk away? Because this can be a card of fear, you know, fear, doubt, uncertainty, because it's something unknown. Uh, there is definitely an energy here of, so there could, the, your current place of work could offer to keep you and you're thinking, well, will I regret it if I don't accept their offer and stay where I am? You might be presented with some kind of conundrum this month in money career finances. It feels there's a no here. So there is a strong energy, if that's the case, of spirit maybe guiding you and telling you just surrender in trust. Turn your back on situations that have been disappointing, that haven't lift, been lift, living up to expectation and move towards something that will. So a strong energy here, Cancer, it feels just surrender and trust in, in turning your back on some kind of situation that doesn't serve your highest good. But again, free will, your choice, your decision. Because Spirit is telling you, you deserve love. And this deceptive energy of, of yeah, but do they really mean what they say? Will there really be change, you know? And that's what might be this devil might be saying to you. Oh, don't worry, we'll give you the recognition. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll re-look at your job role. We'll promise you this, that, and the other. But really, this is an energy of will things change? So for some of you, Cancer, there's a strong energy of an offer or an invitation being extended. Now, the Six of Cups can be... Uh, it can be someone from the past or a person from the past or reconnecting to a place from the past. So that might play a part here too. Uh, but the Six of Cups can also be the happy equilibrium of accepting some new offer 
uh, because it is a two. So some new offer, uh, offer or invitation uh, that brings delight and joy and happy equilibrium back. So a strong energy here of turning your back on situations that don't serve you and accepting something that brings you happy equilibrium, you reconnecting to your happiness and joy if it's not to do with the past in some way. And that's the detoxing energy because you embrace the new. That is what I'm getting here. Again, free will cancer, you make your own decisions, but that's the thread that I'm th that's coming through to me. So I'm going to pull you a number. What do we have for cancer, please? Message for cancer, thank you. Message for our lovely Cancerians, thank you. We have physical activity, number 67. Now this, this feeling of working, the Eight of Pentacles, this is really practical and um, intense in the sense that this is working towards bringing a better reality, a more abundant reality, a greater successful reality your way. So definitely an energy of, of certainly asking somebody to put the work in the right direction to bring a better reality their way and potentially giving them a chance. That might well be the energy if they go somewhere. Uh, for those of you, you might be questioning, do I continue putting time and energy into something that is just a repeating negative cycle and taking a stance on that now? Uh, but for others of you, this is very good in terms of money, career, finances, the Eight of Pentacles as well. Somebody who wants to be recognized for what they do, paid for what they're worth. Uh, somebody who wants to be valued and appreciated for the work and what they do, for the, the hard work that they do. This is a very productive individual. So there's definitely an energy here of, of wanting that recognized and noticed, you know. Uh, your work recognized and noticed in terms of money, career, finances too. Let's pull you just one more. Yeah. <laughs> Abundance. Very good in money, career, finances coming your way. Uh, can also be where you don't feel lack. Can be in relationships as well of any kind. This is just working hard or somebody working hard to make sure that you don't feel lack in a situation and achieving that happy outcome. Is what I'm getting for you, Cancer. So really what I'm saying here is your how this unfolds, your intuition is going to be your guide. This is a strong intuitive pull. So let your instinct be your guide this month is what I'm getting. Let's pull you a final card. Final message for Cancer, please. Final message for Cancer. We have Rabbit Sensitive Soul. Strengthen your boundaries and cut cords. Interesting, that might be some advice for you. I will also say, Cancer, the other thing that just dropped in, um, with this, the Two of Cups can be, that with the Six of Cups, this can be just offers of support and help. It can be to do with love, romance, relationships, the Two of Cups. Um, but it can also be to do with friendships, a friend a friend that you've known, a lifelong friend. You know, the, the Six of Cups represents uh, somebody who you have history with, nostalgia with, memories with. So the, the Six of Cups can be family and some kind of offer being extended to you of support maybe with family or friend of some kind. So again, that could just be a bit of additional information that might be extended to you in some way. That's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you a wonderful August. I will see you next time.